Yeah, we good. Yeah, we good. Yeah. All right, Shalom, Israel. So let's start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makakadash. Double one to the Prophet of the Great Millstone, and Shalom, so like I did, doing this word of faith, the labor of love, and true sincerity. That's a very good message of faith from New Jersey. You know, uh, here with the week we sit down, it's going to be an open forum. I'm just going to let the spirit roll and let the spirit speak expressly. All right, so. So Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Right, and the whole point of everything, us standing upon our watch, you know, standing upon the watch, what, watching for the prophecies. You know, watching for the tricks that Esau has up his sleeve, all of the things that's coming down the pipeline, you know, that we are to forewarn our people about, and that we are to be on our uh, toes for ourselves as well, you know, and expecting, you know, all of the things that, that Esau is bringing to the society. And, you know, the brother um, just mentioned uh, what Esau is doing in the other countries. You can bring that up real quick, Ox, or the, uh, the Kobe fast thing. Oh. Oh, we can't talk about that? Nope. <laughs> right, okay. We can't talk about that. Talk about yeah. shit, huh? Well, yeah, so, you know. They, okay. they, they snatched the channel for that. I did a video. Oh, yeah? I did a video. I didn't even make it public. Oh, that's the one? That's the one, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, my bad. I ain't even know. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, but see, hey, you can't say shit. That's how we know what, hey, while we have this opportunity, we stand upon our watch, hey, and when we... Uh, allow the Lord to speak to us and to say what needs to be said. And, and we can barely do that now. So bring it back from the top part. Mm -hmm. uh, from verse 1? Yeah, yeah. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and mm -hmm. will watch to see what he will say unto me mm -hmm. and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Mm -hmm. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Right, because every time brothers you not know, having to sit down doing a lesson, or, you know, you're in the comfort of your own home or wherever you at and you're doing a lesson, you know, the Lord is giving you a, a vision to speak on, you know? You got to look at it like that. Because we're speaking upon things that that have not happened yet, you know? So we're speaking things into existence and the Lord is bringing the kingdom uh, that much more faster, you know, by us signing chronic all abomination that we've done thereof, and, you know, <clears throat> him just using us as his mouthpiece to speak his word throughout the four corners of the earth. And ultimately, this is uh, bringing Esau's society down. This is why, you know, it's, everything is about censorship. Everything is about complete and utter control. Why? Because it's not about the whistleblowers. They play their role. But ultimately, it's about the Lord's prophets bringing down his kingdom. Us constantly waking up to the truth. You know, we mentioned uh, earlier in camp today that now what the new thing is, you know, the, the how body man and, you know, how Apostle Bar got into that and different things like this. You know, men is being put up back to where we are to be slowly but surely. And women is going to realize the worth of us. And Esau, seeing that, he like, nah, I, I can't have this happen. So that's why we got to constantly putting this word out there so that this reach to whoever it needs to get out to, you know, so that the rest of Jake can wake up and we can get up out of here. Man. It says, for the vision is yet for an important time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Exactly, because, hey, I still, I always got to mention it. I know it's, you know, old news, but I always got to mention it. I felt like it was just yesterday. I mean, 2011, Hurricane Sandy, you know what I'm saying? It feels just like it was <laughs> yesterday. Now, look, here we are, you know what I mean? Uh, 2021, you know what I'm saying? Everything that's going on now. You know, things seem like they take long, but before you know it, in the blink of an eye, everything done changed, man. You know, everything changes within a blink of a knot. And before you know it now, what people, uh, you know, throughout this whole pandemic thing, you know, you had so many different marriages that broke up, you know what I'm saying? Depression, uh, uh, more people, you know, offing themselves, just the way that the world is going. So imagine things going further down the line. Esau tightening up his grip that much more. How much more death, destruction, and misery is going to come upon this place, man? This is only the beginning, man. We, ain't, we really ain't see nothing yet. Wait till Esau start coming down with them, them firing squads and different things like that by you not obeying the things in which he's trying to put into place, man. You know, the, 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 the window for repentance 
it's getting it's getting very narrow, man. It's already been narrow, but it's it's narrowing that much more because the more they censor this word, and when we really can't say nothing at all, that's when we know it's really go time, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Hey, real quick, uh, Isaiah chapter fifty-five and six. It says, "Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Mm -hmm. Call ye upon him while he is near." Mm -hmm. You know, indicating what that there's going to be a time when he's not going to be near anymore. And as the brother is saying. You know, the doors of repentance are going to be shut, you know, going in on um, uh, uh, Amos, the 8th chapter and the 11th verse, you know. And uh, also, too, Ezekiel, the 3rd chapter, where are yep, you right there. Right there. Huh. Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the root of thy mouth, mm -hmm. that thou shalt be dumb, and thou shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. Yeah, the word dumb meaning you're not able to speak, you know. And like it's not going to be a time where if you're if, if you're unsure if it's a Jacob's trouble or if you're, you're unsure or not uh, whether or not we should be preaching the word or not preaching when it ha when it happens when the Lord makes it happen you're going to know that it's time for us um, for our tongues to cleave to the roof of our mouth and that's just going to be it for it you know I mean yeah because the scriptures say they shall not be buried nor lamented so when bodies just drop in and you want to go so, I think you guys will know what, what time it is man. Yeah. I think you know camp. There. I think you know we're not setting up camp next week. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I got some. Uh, Second Peter one and nineteen. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, mm. as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts, mm. knowing this first that no prophecy of the Scripture is of any private interpretation. Mm. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of the heavenly Father spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Hey, and that's why the devil's got to get us off the internet and off the streets, because here it is. No matter how much money he throws at the people, which, you know, brothers have received um, the stimulus as well. But that's not, you know, thwarting our judgment. We see that this place is still going to fall, mm -hmm. you know. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Know the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You know, and it's going to come a point in time when people are going to say they have no pleasure in the days, man. You know, because right now things are, are, are Jake is doing good right now, man. You know, Jake's receiving the stimulus. Jake is uh, uh, really uh, capitalizing on this whole pandemic, man. You know, scamming. You know, the whole thing with this whole unemployment thing, people, they receive the benefits, you know. But the days that that, that are, are, are on the horizon, they're going to have no pleasure in it, man. Because we see the draconian laws coming in, come to pass, man. We're seeing that the, the, the clamping down that's going to happen, man. You know, right now they're opening things back up, but, but guess what? They need a narrative. The narrative is going gonna, gonna to be the, uh, the, that variant that's coming out, man. That's strange. You know, to mm -hmm. where they have to lock things down even more tighter, man. You know, and then they're going to have to uh, uh, take drastic measures, man, and to uh, uh, bring it in what they want to streamline their, their new world order, man. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I got a piece of uh, I, you, uh, brother may mention earlier about narrow, how things are going down a narrow path. Esau has his narrow path, but Yahweh Bashin Shah has his narrow path. This is uh, Second Edges 7 and 6. There is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and it is set in the dangerous place to fall. Like as if there, it's like it, as if there, damn, it's like it. Let me read out this. Right, uh... Yeah, um, the entrance thereof is narrow and it is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there was a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Hey, and that proves that what? First and foremost, in this truth, you need order. You know, and, and you got to be in order in, in order to uh, to be able to uh, endure it to the end. You know, the fire and the water, that pretty much symbolizes um, the tribulation, you know. But if you're in line and you're in pocket and you're in order, you know, with the spirit and power, you, have, you, have, you will be able to overcome and weather the storms that set before you, you know. Yep. It says, um, 
verse 8, and only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance. So it, um, uh, uh, um, it makes me think too about, um, you know, this is a revelation in the 11th chapter and the 8th verse of spiritual Egypt and Sodom. But the Egypt part going back to Matazarion, Mar 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 you know, meaning like a double straits. And then you look up that word straits, you know, use mm. a reference to a situation characterized by a specific degree for trouble or difficulty. Difficulty, yeah. Yep. Yep. Hey, because things going to get difficult. Esau's way of difficult is that you go in the way of his narrative. You go in the way of his, of his agenda. You accept his way, of, his new way of life. But the Lord is saying, you're going to go in this way, all right, to get to the kingdom. Meaning you're going to have to reject him, all right, and you're going to have to follow the ways of the Lord even unto death. So it says, um, and this is a city, and if this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? And I said, it is so good, and it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion, because for their sake I made the world. And when Adam transgressed my statues, then was the decree that now is done. Then were the interests of the world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. But, excuse me, they are but few and evil, full of perils and full of painful and very painful. Excuse me. It says, for the interests of the elder world were wide and sure and brought immortal fruit. If then they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive those that are laid up for them. Now, therefore, why disquiet thyself? Seeing thou art but a corruptible man, and why art thou moved, whereas thou art but mortal? That's it. That's right. So everybody wants heaven, but they don't want to go through hell. We got to go through the hell. We got to go through the tribulations, you know, in order to receive the kingdom of heaven. And what's the tribulations? We got to endure two-thirds. You know what I'm saying? We got to um, go through the martial law, you know, whether it be brothers lot to be in a concentration camp, or dwell like a pilgrim on the earth. We gotta deal with that. You know, some brothers gonna have to be beheaded for uh for this truth, for the sake of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. That's all a part of that um said perils. You know, that's all a part of that fire on the right side, fire uh water on the left. You know, we have to endure these uh times of difficulty in order to obtain the kingdom of heaven. Hmm. You know, and first and foremost, we're in this position because why? Um, beginning with Eve, because of the woman came the beginning of sin, you know, um, philosophies, mm -hmm. you know, they, 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 they began to be drunken, you know, for an example, figuratively speaking, here it is, if you're drunk, you know, if you're drunk driving, you start swerving, you know, one of the uh, tests that the police officer is going to do to see if you can walk a straight line, you know, if you're drunken, you know, if you're drunk, it's going to be difficult to walk that straight line. You know, but the mm. scriptures speak upon what being sober. So right. You know, now yeah. you're sober, you could do that <laughs> walking backwards. You know what I'm saying? Rubbing your belly and tapping your head at the same time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because why are you sober? You know, and when we read the scriptures, that indicates what you to be serious. So when you're serious, when you're focused, you know, you're not going to allow yourself to um, stagger. You know, you're not going to allow yourself to uh, stumble. You know, real quick, I got a scripture. Um, Isaiah 29 and verse 9 It says stay yourselves and wonder Cry ye out and cry They are drunken but not with wine mm. They stagger but not With strong drink mm. What are they staggering from? Philosophies man yeah. The main reason why we're in this position today You know tapping, in, tapping into The philosophies of the other nation And you got Jake still Tapping into that same energy You know when they find themselves Wanting to take Maxine man mm. You know Believe in everything that Joe Biden tells him. You know? Hmm. It says, For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered. You know? But we have the hope for elect. The Lord set us up to what? Um, make your vision clear. You know? But the only one's vision who's going to be clear is those who are of the elect, man. Mm -hmm. All right. There's something right here. This is um, two verses. Um, this is um, 1 Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, 
They cannot strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing has happened to you. Hey, you, you got individuals who, you know, was once a part of the world. It was easy for them to get money. You know, money kind of just fell into their hand. Now, all of a sudden, you come into the truth, it's hard to <laughs> scrape up a dollar. Mm -hmm. You know, consider it not strange. Mm. You know, you might have been a ladies' man in the world. But now, here it is, you in the truth, you know what I'm saying? You can't get <laughs> decked out like you used to do. Mm. You know, how you used to be. So, the women ain't gravitating to you like they once were. Consider it not strange. Yeah, it's like the... Uh the uh, why me spirit. Right. Why me? Yeah. Why me? <laughs> why not? Yeah. <laughs> hey, why not? Because you, yeah. you, you were chosen to do the, for the foundation of the earth. That's it. To be part of the elect. Yeah. You know? But it says, right? But rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, mm. that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with a silly joy. You know, and, that we, and, mm. and hey, man, we know that they big bro coming, man. We're we going to be joint heirs with him, man. Mm. You know? All right? It says, But if ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory of the Most High resteth upon you. Mm. On their part, he is evil, spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. And we already starting to see that now, man. We starting to see how our comings and goings, in, uh, uh, here in Babylon, man, you know, you got demons that are on other people, man, and you're seeing that they, 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 their spirit is trying to try your spirit, man, you know, because why? It's because you, you, you actually really being singled out, man, you know, and we, we, we already see how, you know, it's that sort of like a, a, a spiritual sparring, I might say, you know, how you have uh, um, Satan jumping on uh, co workers, you know, and, yeah. and they try you, you know, for some reason, you mm -hmm. know. But they know that the spirit of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah rests upon you, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And them demons, they, 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 they see it, man. They call it out. Yeah, the, the Lord has the world in a trick. Because what's seen is actually miserable. And what's not seen is actually glorified. Yeah. So the method within the madness is that they can't understand, you know, how could you glorify when you, you've been persecuted? Right. You know, you've been put down. You've been left out. But really, what's not seen is to be glorified. And that's your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And what's actually seen is miserable, man. Pleasure, money, you know, this little temporary time of, of enjoyment, you know. Hey, the Lord about to bring all that to an end, man. Yeah, I got a, a quick definition for um that word glory. This is a thing that is beautiful or distinctive, a special cause for pride, respect, or delight. Hey, mm -hmm. and, and we're not supposed to be ashamed uh, uh, for the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because um, right now, when you read, uh, I got two more verses real quick. I can write. It says, um, but let not none of you, this is our first Peter 4 and 15, but let not none of you suffer as a murderer, mm. or as a thief, or as an evildoer, mm. or as a busybody in other men's, men's, men's matters. You know, and that's really going in uh, 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 just being carnal, man. You got to stay spiritual, man. Hey, this, this is, yeah. These are the things that these the carnal vain men do, man. Yeah. Right? It says, yet mm. if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the Most High on his behalf. You know, and that coming in that point in time when the so-called, what they want to call Christians, or, or, or what you want to call the religious radicals, okay, fanatics, okay, they, they're going to come after them, man. You know, they're going to be singled out, man. But it says, man, let, let you not be ashamed, man. Let, let us not be ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Bashan Abashan, man. Because we got the we got the blueprint of the salvation, man. You know? Hey, that's beautiful because when you are persecuted and you think upon that scripture, you know that you didn't do anything wrong. You know, if you don't want to take a jab, they trying to demonize you or they lock you up. Because it's gonna get that way. You don't want to take the chip, the mark the the the, the microchip. They're gonna demonize you, they're gonna lock you up, you know. And then you in prison, you saying, Well, I didn't do nothing wrong. You know, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh was shy. Uh, uh, for the Lord's sake, I didn't. I don't want to take that. I'm not taking. It. I believe in the Lord. And you're fighting for what's right. Here it is. They got you hemmed up. You know. So hey, the only thing the Lord would do, divine intervention. You know. I got a quick precept. Kind of tapping into that. This is Acts five and forty. And to him, as far as suffering for righteousness, Acts five and forty. And to him, they agreed 
And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shah and let them go. And that's what it's coming to, yeah. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And daily in the temple and in every house, they ceased not to teach and preach Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Yeah, so, you know, the apostles always talk about putting an image in your head. They call it a beatdown. So they're sitting there, they're all bloody, they're all bumped up, and they're laughing and rejoicing, praising Yahweh Shah yeah. Yahweh Shah. And kept teaching anyway, man. <laughs> <laughs> because they're not doing anything wrong, man. Right. You know? Hey, right. That time has come, man, because how this truth is blowing up so much, man, he gotta <laughs> feels like he gotta do something about it. Like, you know, it's crazy when even that dude Don Lemon on, on CNN uh, was talking oh. about how people need to know that pretty much roughly paraphrasing what he said that the Messiah was a dark skinned man. Yeah. Like, and that dude was like coon kind of, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I remember somebody on the combo said going back, he was supporting uh Mo. Mm. Mo behaviors, mm. yeah, but now yeah. he's doing a, a 180, talking about people need to know that the Lord looks like us. Right. So even people that's regular coons that eat, you know, rubbing elbows with eat, now they starting to look at eat sideways, man. Right. And he don't like that shit. Hey, that's that's because Jake got that rebellious spirit. Mm -hmm. If 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 the mo if if two thirds of the Lord's people was gonna not listen to the Lord. How does E think that two thirds is gonna listen to him? Right. It's just a matter of time, yeah. you know. And and all the money in the world ain't going ain't going uh stop that 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 uh stiff neck and rebellious uh heart. Look at the rappers. Yeah. They got everything a heart can wish for. Yeah. But here it is. They 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 vent. They get upset. They start spilling the beans. They yeah. telling themselves. They break the oath. <laughs> now E so I gotta come down on. Them, yeah. You know. Hey, and that tends to happen when they get uncomfortable. Mm. I'm saying Jake, Jake started to get rebellious when they started getting uncomfortable because at that point now is by any means necessary. Mm. They got to get by to the next day or to the next meal, you know, or to the next toilet tissue, you know, it's going to get all bad out here, you know, and, and, they, and like the scriptures say in second answers, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Mm. Why? Because they are uncomfortable, you know. You know, once they start, because now they're talking about, um, they're going to have the, uh, you know, the, the JAB is ready. You know, you got to tread real lifely. Yeah. Talking about how they going out and ready for the kids coming this fall. <laughs> Once you think that you about to start messing with Jake's kids, bro, you done, man. <laughs> Not to show no light on that on that damn butch, man. Amanda Nunez, man. But when she knocked out that in her last fight, she said, I'm even more dangerous now because I got a kid. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see that. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. Like, I'm already the lioness. Yeah, 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 for somebody. Yeah. 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 And, I'm and, already the lioness. Yeah. Now that I got a kid, I ain't never gonna lose. Yeah, they, they, you know, they started complaining about her. They saying that she need to stop training with men because she beating bitches. She beating <laughs> bitches asses yeah. like a yeah. dude. She beating them up like men. Yeah. See, all <laughs> Jake gonna carry that spirit, man. When you try and put mm. JBs and and then kids, it's, it's, it's over, man. Mm. They, and that's gonna be that uncomfortable. You making me real uncomfortable right now, man. That's how Jake gonna feel, and they gonna they gonna buck back, man. See, but the. But at that point, your kids don't even belong to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they have a social security number and they have a birth certificate. Mm -hmm. They belong to the elites, man. So your kids ain't even your kids. It is. You have to endure that pain for, for the nine, ten months. Mm -hmm. You know? You have to actually, you know, deliver that baby just to give it to the elites. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what you call slavery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could drop your children off in school and never see them again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then they could give them the, 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 you know, the thing, and then they yeah. could, you know, even give them that, that chippy chip that they yeah. wanted to, man. Yeah. yeah. They're supposed to be going back next month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say, but they keep pushing it back. Really, it's going to be September. Parents happy as hell getting their kids out the house. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, real quick, um, uh, let me read this. This is Psalms 55 and 20. Because it's uh, no coincidence on how Esau and even Joe Biden out of his mouth, he said the face, the new face of America is the blacks and Latinos. Mm -hmm. And then here it is, all this money coming out of nowhere, printed out of thin air. You know, it, it's like everything to try to sue Jake mm -hmm. into going in the ways of Edom. Mm -hmm. You know, because they need us because that's, that's the Lord's chosen to actually accept this agenda that mm -hmm. they got going. And once they get them, then everything else is just in the back pocket, you know? But this ain't uh, uh, their movie, man. This is the Lord's movie. So Psalms 55 and 20, he hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. 
he hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Mm -hmm. So Esau's always got an uh, underhand plot uh, 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 against you. He's always got something against you to stab you in the back. Yeah. Because he, he's not a man that favors or honors covenants. He breaks them. And the thing with our people is that they know that. Yep. And they keep falling for the same trap. Oh, which is very, very, very frustrating, man, when you try to explain it to people. And they'll be like, no, but Dr. Falsely said this and Dr. Falsely said that. Yeah. And it's like, yo, who cares yeah. what he says, man? They're going to say they're gonna say what's in the yeah. best interest for them right. in order to put money in their pockets, man. You can list you can list everything that they, all the atrocities that they've done to our people, and yet you're still coming back for more, man. Got you right here. Mm. Job 13 and 4. But ye are forges of lies. Ye are all Ooh, positions yeah. of no value. No yeah. value. Mm. No, no value, value yeah. man. Yeah. There, there's nothing that you can do that the human body can't do on its own. GMOs. No value. No value. Fluoride in your water. No value. Chemtrails in the air. No value. No value. Your laws is unrighteous decrees. No value. Mm -hmm. The black, you know, woman. the black woman, no value. Yeah, man, no value. Hey, printing out money out of thin air and giving it to Jake, no value. <laughs> and either way you look at it, there's no value from him. There's no gain unto you. It's a trick, man. Yeah, he knows he's the devil, man, because uh, you know the elder Nazaka went into how they how they um going around all these other pastors asking why they teaching in congregation not to take that J A B, but they don't never come to the Israelites, man. Cause you'll get a real serious response through the scriptures and you'll get exposed. Yeah. You know, like one guy, uh, at least, at least he said, uh, the, that our bodies is the temple of the Lord. Mm. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's one of the yeah. reasons why you shouldn't take it. But yeah. that scripture right there as well. Yeah. Right. Should have brought out Job 13 and 4, man. Mm. Or, 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 or the law where you're not supposed to put any cuttings in your flesh. Right. You know, these are the reasons why we, we shouldn't be getting any, any JBs in us, man. Mm -hmm. And the scriptures also say out the Lord, um, Oh, I'll get it right quick. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna brother, look for real quick. How, you, 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 you hate how the way they keep on throwing out that word hesitancy. You know, the finny thing hesitancy. Mm -hmm. When when it's really outright, it should be outright finny thing refusal. Mm -hmm. Flat out, man. You know? Right. Yeah, yeah. Idiot, man. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 38 and 4. The Lord has created medicines out of the earth. Mm -hmm. All right? Not out of a laboratory, man. Mm -hmm. With your freaking gloves on. Mm -hmm. You know? All these damn syringes and back, chemicals, back, 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 back. yeah, yeah mechanisms right. to grab the uh, syringes, man, and keep it in you know negative a hundred uh, degrees Celsius. That's bull crap, man. You got a damn firefighter suit on. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. got a whole health hazard suit on. Yeah, because they mixing chemicals. Yeah, that are, that are, uh, hazardous, dangerous. Yeah, but yeah, they want you to consume it. Yeah, it was says little creating medicines out of the earth. You know, your Irish moss, man, black seed oil, elderberries. Mm. Uh, uh, fruit, different fruits, mm -hmm. you know. So why would we uh, uh, take all this artificial, superficial bullshit when the scripture says the Lord created medicines out of the earth, man? It says and he that is wise will not abhor them. Okay? Which which so, means avoid them. Abhor means to avoid. Yep. Yep. And then uh, and then when you look at your track record, why should anybody trust you, man? Right. You know, you done jacked up this Native Americans. You, you jacked up the so-called Negroes by experimenting on them with your different diseases, man. And there wasn't even any diseases here before the so-called white man came here, man. And and that's a known fact. Yeah, Israel, Israel, you, you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, uh, are like a, a, an abused whore, man. You know, you, you're constantly being beaten, man. And then here he comes back again, man, uh, saying, I'm sorry, you know, take me back. You know, I won't do it again. Mm -hmm. You know, I have this for you, you know, uh, uh, to, uh, you know, forget about it. I saw the lady. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yep, real quick, this is our, our, our Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, mm -hmm. and the grief destroyeth the heart. Mm -hmm. You know, and the wise men, uh, 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 we, are, we see that we're oppressed, man, you know? But our whole thing is that our, what, what, you, what they want to call rhetoric is not coming with, uh, uh, it's not coming with, uh, 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 it's coming from the scriptures, though, man. We're not speaking out of our own heart, man, because he's speaking out of your own heart is not having no value. It has no weight, mm -hmm. you know? In the earth, though, man, these 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 scriptures is what's cutting this damn devil, man. You know, okay. And this is why they're, they're trying to trying to put a muzzle in, man. But this word is going to go out, man. It's going to uh, um, accomplish what all the Lord pleased, man. And it says, um, 
Hey, 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 real quick, God, the Lord said he charges angels folly. So how much more us? You know, we really don't know nothing unless what the Lord allow us to know. The only reason why we have some sort of value is because we're, you know, hey, hopefully uh, chosen. All right. We've been called, but to call to, to uh, relate a message from the Lord, you know, so that's some value. But really, if we had to uh, uh, hold, uh, do it ourselves, we'd fail, mm -hmm. you know. We fell, man. So how much more uh, 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 this this uh, first off this truth, man? This truth is everything, man. And that's why this devil was scrambling like Michael Vick when he was on the Virginia Tech, you know, scrambling back and forth. It's because for, it's the spirit of the Lord's mouth, man. It's destroying Esau. It's 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 cutting lies, and when you cut his lies, he gets upset mm -hmm. because he feels like. You're not listening to me. You're not going my way. Then I'm going to put you in prison by all means. Right. This is why the censorship is out. We, we can't even freaking say words, man. Yeah. How you come down to this point where we can't say a, a, a word? Listen, man. And then they, they got the algorithm to help them pick up on certain things. So it does some, the, the uh, really the, the major work for them. The heavy lifting. Yeah. And then they, they look at a little bit, a little bit. And then they say, yeah, yeah cut that, that off. Clip yeah. that. Yeah, whole channel this time. Right. Show them a lesson. And you being yourself know what's going on, man. You just do what you're told. Because like I said, man, because if you don't do what you're told, you're gonna have some other droids that's gonna send you in place and do what they're doing. Right. Told, man. Yep. You know? It's, it's like I said though, you you people don't know what your boss knows. Your boss's boss's boss knows, man. <laughs> what's going on? You know? Man? Okay? All right. You, 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 this place is done, your place is finished, okay? The, uh, um the, the, these these words, these these, these scriptures, these uh, uh, is is against you people, man. Okay, this place is going down, and what? Why they want to shut us up? Because why? We're speaking prophecy, man, and then we're speaking what this man is doing before he does it, man. This is why we're talking about the uh, the MOB, uh, MOTB, man. You know, this is why we, we talk about that, man. And now, 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 all of a sudden, we were able to speak about it, but now we can't now. All right, because the algorithm, the right, they expanded the algorithm. Okay, yes. so it, it picks up that. So you can't speak about it now. So we got to say MOB now. Yeah, yeah, MOTV. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You know, Fuck you, Mark. Mark, Mark <laughs> it's a you know, we, can't, we, we can't talk about the Mark B no more. You know what I'm saying? Mark B. You know, we can't just say it's Mark B. You know, we can't talk about Mark B no more, man. Yeah. You know, MOB, man. You know, because why? Because they're about to package it. They're about to package it. They're about to package it. And present yeah. It to, to Temptation. Earth, man. Yeah. You know, real quick, real quick, to finish it off, this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. Dang. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Mm -hmm. And the patient in spirit, which is the elect, okay, is better than the part of spirit, man. Which is two thirds of the other nations, man. Because everybody is, is, is pumped up, man, and, and prideful, man, with, with a goddamn fucking dirty mask on, man. You know? This this place is done. This, you don't see it like like this whole the whole way of, of living, man, has been uh uh, uh, in, in, uh just been uh, uh morally just uh, uh, uh destroyed, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. okay. Everything, everything goes now, man. Everything goes, but but truth. Yeah. Okay. And that definitely sheds light on that nigga Nate because here it is. You talk about um, you know the um, we you know it. You can't uh, talk about the mob, but then he talks about it. You know he pushes it off as if it's not important. But if it's not important, why, like you said, why would Esau yeah, so, go back and change the whole algorithm? Yeah. Right? yeah. What is left that we can say? In the fucking English dictionary. Right. Well, that, that's just the Lord shutting up his prophets. Yeah, yeah, the, right. The, the, the time is getting shorter and shorter. Yeah, that's a good thing. Right. And that's a good thing. thing. It's on you. Yeah, yeah cause, talk me out anyway. Yeah. 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 Hey, once the prophets shut up, hey, you're going to have to hear from the Lord's mouth. Go to the sellers and buy. Yeah, remember when Israel wanted to see that they wanted to talk to Moses? Oh, yeah. Right. And we want to see the Lord. Yeah. We want to see how it's on the end. Yeah. And right. then what? Right. Thunder, tempest, yeah. Yeah. earthquakes. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no Moses, no, no. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Like, it's going to be too late. Hey, when they try to do that, it's going to be too late. Mm. They're trying to switch up and everything else. It's going to be too late, man. You know, all, all you entertainers, okay, all you fucking back boule, boule all you have down with the boule, all you have down with the 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 the, the hangers on of, 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 of what is called whatever the, the, your hangers on of the minions of the society or uh, 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 athletes all y'all know what's what's going on man okay all y'all know what's going on man this world is hitting on all cracks and crevices of where Jake is is, is dwelling amongst man whatever philosophies whatever uh, 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 thing that Jake is into man this truth is, is seeping into that man mm -hmm. and the Lord's going to sift down his elect from, from amongst that man. 
So you, you people can't say you don't, don't didn't know, man. Mm. You can't say you didn't know, man. Yeah, I remember, remember when Jay-Z said, it's a secret society, all we ask is trust. When I was in college, uh, everybody kept saying, you know, in order to be, to uh, to have one up in society, go and join um, a fraternity. Right. And now, exactly. and now that I look at it, that's how you get one up. Right. Because every uh, avenue or organization, according to this system, in order to be up in that organiz that organization to be, you know, one of somebody that's uh, uh, uh what's what's the word, uh, pros pr pr prosperous, prosperous. prosperous. You have to be a part of a club. Yeah. In the rap world, you gotta be a part of the club. In the movie actor world, you gotta be a part of the club. You know, in the work field, you gotta be a part of a club. Right. Everything gotta be a part of some secret club. Right. So they people could vouch for you and say, oh no, no, you good. Right. And you know? that goes it's crazy. And, yeah, and that goes for even when you're going for a job interview. Yeah. Man. Yep. You know, you got yeah. and, and, and somebody somebody was part of a, 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 a you, you know, know like like fraternity or sorority. Yeah. You yeah. already in, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. if you have the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. it already. Now you it already. Yeah. You don't have to even meet the qualifications. Oh, are really that just might to be much more qualified than you are. You yeah. in. You already are shoot in automatically. Man. Yeah, Q dog. Yeah. You know, he, he looking out for a brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real, real quick, I remember when I was working at the hospital, I was doing security and um the lady in housekeeping, Brody chick, right? Real violent type. And um she was telling me a story when she was in traffic. She was in traffic, caught a little road rage, end up beating another lady's ass in traffic gets locked up. However, she had a friend that was an Eastern star and um, she happened to be a lawyer. And um, so she go to court. The lady is uh, defending her with this whole situation. And um, her friend just pretty much flashed the sign to the judge. Yeah. And she <laughs> yeah. got off scot-free. Well, you know yeah. yeah. So that's a, all, all a part of those uh, sororities and fraternities yeah. and being a part of those organizations mm. to get pretty much free passes. Man. Yep. You gotta go through all that retarded hazing bullshit too. Yeah. Yep. Some people don't even make it out. What was that movie? Uh, Burning Sands? Yeah. Mm. You know, they don't even make it out of that. But uh, I just got out of my mind, like, it's so crazy that how, uh, you know, things are beginning to open back up, man. A lot of states don't even got the mask mandate. Hell, the PA bars is open, about, about to open back up. So things is kind of getting back to normal. But during the last Passover, things was normal, man. And then once the Passover, uh, uh, once we got out the Passover, shit got crazy. So, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. looking like it could go in that right. same Mayday. same thing, except deadly serious this time. Mayday. Yeah, when they out there, out and about amongst each other, who knows what could be happening with those that take that JAB. It could really be spreading shit, and this could be the real deal this time, man. Right. And then who they go willing. And then who they gonna blame it on? Those that didn't get the JAB. Because right. right. remember that Jake was bringing out on his uh, job in the right. nursing home. He said everybody in his nursing home that was good, they got the JAB, they started dropping dead. Who do they blame it on? Not the not the JAB, but a super spreader who didn't take the the, the jab, right. man. Yeah. Which See? is which so is. it's gonna come in, it may come back into that yeah. same type thing, man. Where they gonna blame it on us? Yeah. I got a quick preset. This is song uh, one twenty five and three. Now it can apply to the jab or the MOB, right? This is Psalm 125 and 3. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. At least the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And who's the righteous symbolized? Israel. Mm. You know? And, and what's the rod of the wicked? Essentially, the jab, the vaccinations, and um, that, that the MOB, man, that shit, man. You know? So here, here it is. Esau, you know, manufactured, you know, these wicked devices, you know, with the intent to eradicate Jake, pursuing the Psalms, the 83rd chapter, willingly, you know, accepts it, mm -hmm. you know, so they're going to have to face that judgment, you know, for accepting the vaccination or accepting that chip, man, which is the MOB written in Revelation 13 and 16. You know, we still going to get our point across to you devils, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, you still have that Psalm 55 book? Uh, yeah, I go back. This is Psalms chapter 55 and verse 20. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, 
yet were they drawn swords. And then that's what everything that the so-called white man puts his hand to, with any given so-called deal, that, and that's what the thing they want to call the deal, like I'm giving you a deal, like I'm giving you a good opportunity. You have a, but really it's, it's just a, a snake oil salesman shit, man. Mm. But everything in which Esau does, and brother speak upon, you know, Illuminati, so you probably ain't gonna be able to say that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But speaking on Illuminati, secret societies, and things like that. And look at how you always blackmail and Jake. Look at what's going on with Deshaun Watson right now at yeah. Houston, Texas, yeah. man. Yeah. He demanded yeah. a trade, you know, from the Houston Texans, right? And now, in the midst of the trade, the organization now don't really want to let him go. But usually, when the players start complaining and stuff, they eventually got to get him off out of there because you have an unhappy player. Then that means poor play. Bring that to mm -hmm. the locker room. Mm -hmm. The organization gets bad. So in the midst of him requesting a trade, all of a sudden, nine different women come up with allegations of inappropriate uh, uh, behavior mm -hmm. of him when he went yeah. to these uh, different um, massage parlors and stuff. Wow. You know what I'm oh, saying? Wow. Wow. And, and it's nine different accounts. And the funny, not so funny thing about it is the lawyer that's representing those nine women is close friends with the Houston Texans owner. Wow. And you know, these these owners of these football teams, they billionaires, man. Right. So you know they got that pull like that. So this is what happens when you don't want to play ball with them. They pull the strings and they get you set up because regardless whether he's, um, it's not criminal charges, it's, it's civil charges. That means really it's like a money grab type of thing. Right. But your name being implicated in something like this, this tarnishes your name forever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Losing and endorsements like, and all yeah, that. It's something yeah. you really can't recover from. So, 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 so what it does, it puts you in a, it puts you in a bind to to make things right with which where you at. Mm -hmm. And right. basically, you're going to go their way now. Yeah. And you're going to shut up. You're never going to complain again mm -hmm. because all you want is your good name back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're going to drag us into the mud. And like I said, though, you're going to make them damaged goods to where... Uh, a team may not even want to want 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 them on, on that part of the organization, but they already said that the Houston Texans. Not going off topic though, but they already said throughout the uh, whole um, league that the Houston Texans organization was was the worst out of the league, man. Mm -hmm. The worst run, man. Yeah. You know, yeah, because the Patriots. I think it was a Patriot. I was about to pick them up, but since that happened, they said they're looking in other places now, man. And why is it that whenever they're about to? You know, they want to trade, they want to get the hell out of there. They get demonized, just like uh, Antonio Brown, man. You know, when you want to get out of Pittsburgh because these greedy devils don't want to pay nobody. And that, you know, that's in the spirit to be fucking greedy, man. You know, they speak about how he's never satisfied. Mm -hmm. And uh, now he, when he wanted to get out, he got demonized. So these, these, these devils always trying to demonize people when you don't want to play his game, man. So if they doing that on a lower level over, little, over his little Federal Reserve notes, how much more are they going to do it over us, man? When we're telling him that he's going to get taken out of power. When that's all he's about is, is money and power. Yeah, it's the same thing, uh, not to keep rambling on, but the same thing with um, Kobe Bryant. You know, uh, they don't talk about it as much, but they said with Kobe, Kobe he was um, basically, he invested in a new NBA, which would be in China. And he was going to have a lot of ownership with that. And the new NBA would be not, uh, I mean, well, the new NBA would be in China, but it would be a new avenue for uh, uh, basketball players, kids, uh, children who's growing up to not just think about the NBA. Why not come to the NBA in China? Because they already playing overseas and all that. And it's funny how they took him out, you know, they stopped talking about it. But then when you check the NBA out, now they got all these new talks about how to pay players and players should be making money because they got to feed their family. It's like now is all this talk about players uh, uh, doing better, open up more markets and different avenues now. But they cut Kobe, you know? Got some. Mm -hmm. So Psalm chapter 73 verse. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Psalm 73 and 5. The spirit is on you. It's on you, devil, man. It says, they are not in trouble as other men. Mm. Neither are they plagued like other men. Can yeah, be, because, because who, who, who's going who's gonna, to uh, arrest the rich elite? Who's going to go in his mansion and, and put him in handcuffs and, and put him in prison or send him to the courts? None. They, you barely, man, talking about these uh, international bankers is like talking about an invisible person. At one point, years ago, they, they, they didn't even exist. But all, all of a sudden now, yeah, everybody know Illuminati exists. Everybody know the, 
the, the breakdown of, oh, the Illuminati, uh, yeah, those the international bankers, Rothschild, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know that now. So who's really going to, who's going to lock them up? Yeah. Now, now, one of them get locked up. They do the most heinous, craziest, uh, wickedest uh, thing, and they get away with it every day. Every moment, every second of the hour, and, man. And you, and you see what happened with, and you see how like the uh, the shit with Deshaun Watson is connected because what Deshaun Watson, he, he was uh, going to those different massage parlors, right? You know, with Asian women or whatever else. And he's from he's from Atlanta, Georgia. What did that either might do mm -hmm. just do to those Asian parlors? That was down there in Georgia. Mm -hmm. You see, like how these different things is, is correlated. And what did they say about uh, the, the cops say about the, the, the either might do it or whatever? He said, oh, yeah, he, he, he was just having a bad day. Mm. Right. What the fuck? And that's it? Mm. But let that be a jake. It would have yeah. been all type of, yeah, he had a history of this, a history of this. But yeah, the cop get up there and say, yeah, he was just having a bad day. They said he had a porn addiction, but he was going to rehab and stuff like that. Trying to make up all type of uh, an excuses, man. This lets you know that this truly is his world and he's yeah. moving right now. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Job 9.24. Yeah. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Exactly. So that lets you know if this is his world and we already see that the the, the, the playbook ain't fair, then how do we um, stand a chance within this world, man? We don't. We don't. Yeah. At all. This is why you're always going to be on the shit end of the stick with any and everything when it comes to this devil. This is why it makes no sense for our people to be a uh, 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 crying and bitching to the government about reparations and crying and bitching and you going up there to vote, you know, for all of this BS when none of it actually benefits you whatsoever. They are the devil that the Bible speaks of and they're going to do everything by their devilish ways uh, to conquer. That's the only way they know how to go. Violence, yeah. Yeah, they fucking worship money, man. Just to throw another name there, that dude, Tory Lane. When he got his master's, right, got out of his contract, yep. what happened, mate? All of a sudden, this bitch pop up from out of nowhere, talking about he shot me, now he going through shit, man. Market the stallion. Yep, he bowling and shit, bowling, bowling worse than he already was. All right, so, uh, Michael Jackson, you know, I believe, what, what was he, he about to own, own some of Sony or something like that? He was about to get out of oh, his yeah. contract? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then what happened to him? He found that. Prince, remember Prince tied it on his face, I'm a slave. Mm. All that, yeah. See, so you 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 that was so fucking goddamn greedy, man. And y'all gonna be taking low. Well, he's not greedy for money. He's greedy for power and control. Yeah, yeah. But he's about to be take taken out of that. Um, I forget it's in Job, but uh, back in verse six it says, "Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain; violence covers them as a garment." Hmm. Yeah, violence covers them as a garment. You know, because they fill with blood. You know, blood is, is like a garment on them. You know, it's every day. It's every day, you know, they wake up to thinking and doing something evil. Mm -hmm. You know, but this is all a temporary time. Uh, Job 14. Yeah. Uh, this is a point uh, uh, balance he can't pass, roughly mm -hmm. paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead. Uh. It says, uh, verse 7, their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Yeah, you got all, you got more than what a heart could wish for mm. you got more in abundance you have all the resources you have everything you can create anything you want in your backyard you could have any woman you want you know remember david king david david committed adultery and the lord told him all you had to do is ask mm. but right now we're in esau's wicked uh age and his rulership and he could have whatever he want because it's the rightfully blessing of esau but until until he be taken out of the way you know, but instead he'll go out and want to, you know, have little boys and sexual rituals and blood sacrifices. You know, mm -hmm. that's crazy. But here it is. You could have whatever else you want in righteousness. Okay. You know, okay. yeah. it says, uh, it's verse eight says they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walking through the earth. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, just don't get over it. It's not a big deal. But right. yeah, but yeah, remember 9-11. Never forget. Yeah. You know, never forget the the can I can I say that also? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't even know if I can say that, you know? Yeah. But 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 uh, uh never forget never forget the their works. 
uh, uh, so-called yeah, the hollow hoax. The hollow. Uh, well, oh, oh, yeah, don't say it. Give some fuck at this point, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. But yeah, you know, you, um, um, our atrocities uh, are supposed to be forgotten about and swept under the rug, but we gotta remember everything that happened to you, apparently. You know. Hey, there was a movie. Um, y'all know the movie called. Uh, it was with the black lady that was her face was on the hair grease. She created the hair grease back in the day. Madam C.J. Walker. Yeah, y'all seen that movie? Mm -hmm. First one on Netflix. I think it was on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't watching. She uh she was having um competition with other women that was trying to do do it. I think she actually stole that recipe from some other woman or something. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what really got her and her prideful attitude is when she went to go meet with one of the Rothschilds. And she went on his farm, well, she went on his uh, golf course. And when she went on the golf course, he spoke to her and he told her like, well, you know, you care, you do you, you know, we heard about you, you know, yeah, do that. You know what I'm saying? He gave her that, that inspiration. Mm -hmm. And so she came back proud. She was all supposed to be this black woman getting over uh, depression. I mean, um, the hurt that she went through. Cause I think her husband and shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it just show you in that movie there, you know, going back. How like Esau, you know, he knows what what's going on, but he'll give you that inspiration to just say fuck it, you know, fuck f them. Why do you care? Oh, Aaron Russo, in the interview with Alex Jones, you know how he spoke about Nick Rockefeller, and how he said, uh, why you care about those people? Worry about your family, you know. That's their motto. Matter of fact, uh, remember the uh, the uh, basketball owner that had that Mexican woman that yeah. exposed oh, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How he was talking oh, reckless. Yeah, yeah. Donald yeah. Sterling. Yeah. yeah, he was talking reckless about yeah. black folks. Right. You know? Clearly, I just don't want them on the seats with me. Right. right. And he clearly right. knows that, that we are his enemy. He clearly knows that, man. Mm -hmm. And he's supposed to be a so called so called uh, Jew, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He clearly knows that we're his enemy, man. Even though he's prospering off of the backs of us and, and, make, and making revenue, man, or off of the revenue, man. Mm -hmm. He clearly knows that we're the enemy, man. And, and, and you can tell when that came out that uh he he must have done he must talk like that all the time that's how they talk when they and right. sit in high places mm -hmm. it's a normal talk so sometimes that slip when he has exactly. to be recorded or he comes in our room or our level of things we see or mm -hmm. we should know the the, the matrix right. and um when her recorded him you know that he must talk like that often so this time she caught him she got him, she got him. Yeah. yeah she got him yep yeah, you, you, you know every now and again you'll be talking to somebody in the world regular and then next you know they'll say something you'll be like oh con yeah 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 you know, yeah because yeah. we're used to talking like that you know yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like i'll say something I'll, I'll say, like, oh shit. Know, like, what oh, shit. shit what up what up what up what up yo so lock it oh shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know because that's how we talk so that's how you know you know yeah. they talk regular like that hey and, 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 you know that i just shoot this out too man because uh, uh i was at the bank uh, some time back and I was talking to a northern, and he had time the conversation, though, and I, I, I slipped out, kind of, kind of slipped out. And then, <laughs> after what she said, she said, she said, she said, you speak Hebrew? Like, oh! I, I, and I didn't get it at first, because yeah. I think I said, and she said, no, 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 I was just thinking that. So, so now it, it was coming, making sense to me after the conversation. I said, oh, I said, I must have slipped and said something. That she was insinuating that that you know she she picked up on that word. Right. So, like I said, this goes up, this truth is yeah. out there, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you want to close the precept? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so why you grab that uh, Isaiah 29, 15? Y'all ain't that bad already. Come on, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Ooh. the Lord. And this is exactly what we're talking about. Everything that Esau is doing, you know, behind closed doors, you know, with, with this treacherous ways and, you know, I mean, literally, you know, sticking his claws in the people, you know, by blackmail and different things like that. This is the power in which he rules by. The kingdom in which that's going to be ruled by Yahweh, Shah, King David, and the Israelites. We're not going to have to do any of those type of things, man. We're going to rule in righteousness. You know, but Esau doesn't have a righteous bone in his body, man. His soul can't even utter any mm -hmm. of righteousness, man. He'd probably get sick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, what uh, the scripture say? What well, uh, uh, the wicked flee? Uh, the wicked do wicked every day or something? Oh. They not don't rest or something? Um, uh, all right. What's the number one talking about, right? Yeah, I got you. This is Proverbs chapter four. Slide real quick. Because two, they'll, they'll think that uh, 
Creepy Joe giving us a thousand four hundred is, is something righteous, man. But he got a uh, what should I say? Pray to see the uh, the, uh, the hook, not the bait. Pray to see the bait, not the hook. That's yeah, what yeah, that's yeah. that's all that is, man. Yeah, yeah. that ain't nothing, man. You, uh, fourteen hundred dollars go just like that, man. You know, some people yeah. rent is fourteen hundred. That's what yeah. I'm that they was behind already on. Well, and these people have been shut down for like an entire year, and you give them fourteen hundred dollars. One, one month relief. Come on, man. And back to your troubles. Yeah. <laughs> on top of that, the money ain't even real, man. It's fiat currency yeah. printed on uh, printed on paper, man. Take these nigga pennies. You know, <laughs> take this paper, you know. That's all it's worth. That's all right to it. You know, and it's the word is now that, that a lot of this stuff is really it's money. really your money. It's coming out of, out of your taxes at the end of the day, you know. Go buy a stereo, a couple bucks, and a couple forties. You know what I mean? Great, great show, like, hey, hey, that's great the thing. Show, the that's the thing. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not, they're not really giving us any. They're not really giving our people any money not because they know that Jake is just gonna go and give it right back. He's gonna them. wash the money for yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're they're just, the they're just circulating the money for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they desire the crumbs from the master's table. Yeah. You yeah. gonna take that money? And, you gonna do anything with that money, man? Throw that drink and. and Cryptocurrency or, or buy some gold with that or something, man. Yeah, real real quick, brother in the comment boy, Lamad Amaf, Psalm seven and nine. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous power triumph the hearts and rends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. This is Proverbs four four sixteen. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they have caused some to fall exactly see like it's they don't have it in them to do no type of good everything that they do is with malicious intent man mm -hmm. they they would literally be sick i remember fat joe he was uh i think it was on the breakfast club he was like yo usually if i if i get mad if i don't do something to somebody and i start breaking out of houses he would just want to do them so much hurt like if somebody disrespecting him if he didn't like retaliate he said he would break out in house if he because he would feel like he got defeated if he didn't do something to him that's how esau basically is man mm -hmm. as far as with him doing wickedness it's like he'll break out in the house if he's not doing something wrong constantly 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 you know that's really like how so his, his kryptonite is doing something good man mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like really doing something for jake that would be his kryptonite man right you know um i think that's ecclesiasticus Hey, the, the hunt's on, man, and, and, and you're the prey, Jake. Mm. You know, is this is this, this, this how it is? Yeah, man. Charles Charles has something, man. He coined that, man. <laughs> you know, man. in the movie Our Medicine Society, right? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's ready to be true, man. It's ready to be true because he us I mean, he understands the prophecy, man. He understands it, man. He knows it. He knows that that we are we are next to rule, man. Okay, this is why his foot is constantly in your back, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but Jake don't see it that way. Jake thinks that this uh, 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 somehow he's gonna go walking hand in hand in the kingdom with him, man. Mm -hmm. You know, according to uh, uh, Black Christianity, man. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, here it is, uh, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter fourteen, and I'll start at uh, five. He that is evil to himself, to whom mm -hmm. will he be good? Mm -hmm. He shall not take pleasure Ooh. in his goods. Mm -hmm. right. He's not taking pleasure in his goods, man, because uh, the Lord's not allowing him to do that, man, because he. He's miserable in his own kingdom, man. Yeah. Okay? How is he doing any good to his own self when he's polluting the own air and, and, and polluting the water, man? Right. That, the same air that you're breathing, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay? He, he'd rather do that than, than, than to let this whole place be prosperous, um, um, prosperous man, yep. under his rule, man. Yep. It says, there is none worse than he that envies himself, and this is a recompense of his wickedness, <laughs> of his wickedness. And if he doeth good... All right, right, going into the kryptonite, right? right. right. And, if he, and if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. Right. He, he, he get a pat on his back for uh, and, 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 and don't even deserve it. He don't even know why he get a pat on his back, man. When people are, are, are referencing for some type of thing, man. He, he got a bigger agenda than what, what, what he intended, man. What people have it, um, intended him to do, man. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And, and, and at the last, he will declare his wickedness. Right. And the last, he's going to declare his wickedness. Because even with this whole stillness money, though, it's, 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 an, it's, it's, a, it's a process and an agenda that he has out there, man. So people are giving him a pat on the back for giving out this money and stimulus and, oh, Biden is the best thing to happen in a long time and, you know, giving out, you know. But he has a, a bigger agenda than just that money, though, man. That's, that, that's just uh, something just to keep you people on his side, man. 
But he has a much, much more wicked agenda and a dark agenda, man, that he's going to reveal, man, in that time, well, man. Well, we, you look back in history, you, well, not, you know, the history past, what happened with uh, 9 11? They, that was the birth of the uh, agenda, mm -hmm. the Illuminati agenda. Right, right. Well, what, 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 what happened after 9 11? All of a sudden, all the civilians and Big Brother, you know, this terrorist at the airport, and they changed the system. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't like that before 9 11. You know, when 9 11 hit, after that, it was Big Brother, all the security, civilians, tighten up, you know, mm -hmm. the terrorists, the terrorists, the terrorists, the terrorists, the terrorists. You know, by a terrorist, he the terrorist. Esau. Yeah, yeah. Hey, really? Is, Job said he's gonna meet the king of terror. Right. You know, which is Yahweh. Right. Right. This man is the, the, the master of, of, of creating a boogeyman. And everybody's uh, uh, looking for the damn boogeyman. This man is the damn devil that, that the Bible speaks. We gotta keep on pushing that whole thing, man. You are the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Yeah. You know, this is how you're deceiving the whole world, man. Because here it is, you're creating a boogeyman, and, and you're the man that's pushing all the buttons, man, and people don't see it. Yeah. That wasn't, oh, I was gonna say that's normally how it is anyway. You look for the remote shit right in front of your face. Yeah, that shit's in your pocket. It's normally right in front of your face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm showing you. Uh, Boogeyman is, this is, uh, uh, well, to, to, to those who are wicked, this is a uh, Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so among. And just like in the movies, when they see all the monsters and shit, they will, you know, they, they scream and get scared. Well, that's how y'all about to be and, and when, when Yahweh Shah returns, because of y'all wickedness, man. Like the scripture say, your own sins uh, condemn you, man. Mm. So if you wicked, your ass is, is about to uh, finally get your reward. You thought that you was just going to be wicked and have fun here in Babylon great forever, man, and reap no uh, consequences to that, man? Your ass is about to be through when the Lord returns, man. That's why you better repent. And Yahweh himself even said that, man. Except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. And that's why he said he don't even want some of y'all to repent. The brother brought it out early in camp. Mm -hmm. You know, let their eyes be shut, at least they hear, and, and, and then they be healed. Because that's the power of repentance, man. That's the power of Yahweh Shemashah's mercy. When you repent, man, Yahweh Shemashah uh, loves you for that. So if he has a spirit on you so that you don't even repent, man, he really wants you to get jacked up, man, because you're wicked as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah, I got one. Uh, this is Job 18 and 10. The snares laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength, which is Yahweh Shai. It says, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Mm. Mm. That reminds me of the scripture, he was afraid, but yet durst fight. Because yeah. Logan put the spirit on him too. Ooh, one, one more scripture. St. Luke chapter 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun. And in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear. Talk about the boogeyman, mm -hmm. you know, men's hearts failing them, mm -hmm. heart attacks, man, dropping dead on sight. Those ones that's lucky because they're going to be seeking death. Right, right. 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 Men's heart failing them for, for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven will be shaken. Mm. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud mm. with power and great glory. And that's talking about those chariots, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs. Mm -hmm. All right. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw up nigh. Mm. That's talking about the Israelites. Because in order to be redeemed, With the elect. he means yeah. back. You know, the elect. Yeah. That's right. The Israelites, the elect of the nation of Israel. In order to be redeemed, re means to, uh, to go back, man. You know, redemption. So how are you going to go back to something that you was never a part of, man? Right. It's all about the elect of the nation of Israel. Um, so uh, with that, uh, we hope the segment was edifying. Um, we like to give all praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Kapodash. Double honor to the Prophet, Elder Greg Millstone, and Shalom to the elect out there, doing the bird of faith, the labor of love, true sincerity. 
Shalom, shalom to brothers in the comments, bro. Hey, shalom, brothers. Till next time, shalom.